George and I are celebrate cat hi cat. Hey everybody, welcome to us. <laughs> oh yeah, do we need to do an intro for this? <laughs> yeah, so a couple of weeks ago we posted on Patreon and on our community post on YouTube asking you guys to ask us any questions you might have for our QA as a celebration for our fifty thousand subscriber milestone, which yeah. is Awesome. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. It's we were expecting cool. like 50 people when we started this channel. Like we, were, we thought no one and, would care. And 27 of those would just be our close friends. <laughs> yeah. We don't have 27 friends even, do we? Collectively? Oh, maybe. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we've got your questions here and we're going to just, you know. Go through them. Go through the things yeah. and do the things. And, and try have not a... to spill wine. <laughs> you better not spill wine. Yeah, well, what is yours? Okay, okay, so we're going to drink and answer questions. Question number one. Yeah, we're going to go through Patreon first. First one is, do you plan to do more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos or any other video game videos in general? Mm, I would really like to because I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Probably not on this channel because this is, we learned that it, this is mostly movie, like people come here mm -hmm. to watch us watch movies. So yeah. we didn't want to stray from that. We tested the waters. Yeah. They um, want to split the audience. And yeah, exactly. Kind of thing, so, so, so maybe in the future, um, because I do really enjoy video games mm -hmm. and want to do more of that. So, mm -hmm. if, yeah. Also, just schedule too. Also Time. busy, yeah. yeah. So we do the channel, and I do writing, and so it's yeah. it's a lot of stuff. So yeah. How long have you two known each other, and how did you meet? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try and word these in like how long have we known each other, and how did yeah. we meet? We'll uh, see. How long <laughs> have we known each other? Decade, probably. Yeah, something, like something a like decade. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, we met at uh, school. school, like post-secondary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, along with pretty much all our friends. All we were, like, of our all friends. All within like the same two months. So, and then so that was crazy. It. <laughs> yeah, we did like, it was, you were in one program, I was in another program, yeah. and our classes did a project together. Yeah, it had a crossover. And yeah. met like all, mm -hmm. all my friends. And then it also turns out that like a good percentage of our friends group were all just from the same like region. It was so weird. In the it same was province. so so weird. Yeah. And somehow you guys so have great. never met each other. Well, some of them I did. Have you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like Chris, I've known since I was Oh, really? We went to like we I've I've known Chris since we were like Oh. God. I don't even know. Yeah. Like small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of those ages. Yeah. yeah. Do each of you have your favorite actors you look forward to seeing more of? Well, okay, so, um, <laughs> let me think about this. Yeah, I mean, um, right now, like, we just watched Spider Man, so that's like on my mind a mm -hmm, lot. Mm -hmm. And Willem Dafoe is like so brilliant. Yeah, but he was also in Speed Two, so <laughs> uh, isn't it his fault? He might. He was the best part of Speed Two. He. Even Sandra Bullock got a little annoying in Speed 2, just because of the line she was given. Yeah, it's too bad. But too Willem Dafoe was so over the top in Speed 2 that he was fun to watch in, like, <laughs> in like a yeah. chaotic evil kind of way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, I like, I haven't seen hardly anything with him in it, so mm. I would I would like to see more of him. Who do I want to see more of? Yeah. Uh, Alicia Silverstone <laughs> after Clueless. Unfortunately... The next movie I saw her in right after we did Clueless yeah. was Batman and Robin for Cinecringe, and that was very disappointing. Oh, right. Doesn't she play Batgirl? She was for Batgirl for about five minutes at the end. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've never, I've never, haven't seen Batman and Robin. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's best you don't. Aw. It's horrible. Who's Batman in that one? George Clooney. Oh. With the nipples. The nip, I was going to say yeah. the nipples. And the cock piece. Yeah. Like, close-up codpiece. Next question. <laughs> uh, next one. Are there any movies you've seen that you were glad you saw once, but would have had a hard time watching again? Okay, so... Um... Oh, you know what? Probably seven. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were not well <laughs> It was. Movie. It was icky. It was, yeah. like... You turned a little green when I was watching your footage from the, from the brothel scene, the lust kill. That, yeah, that... That interview. That fucking messed me up. Yeah. That's so, like... But you know what's really cool about that one, though? Ugh, just, what? Just uh, as I was editing it and watching you, I realized yeah. in that scene, it's the only one where we saw none of the gore. Because what made you look... What made you turn green 
was the photo of the blade. Yes. That's it. Yes, that's all. That that's was... all there was, which is the imagination of it. Yeah, no, I didn't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> never, never again, yeah. never, never again. But the rest of that movie was also really rough. Like the the sloth guy. It was in bed. so dark. It was so so yeah, dark. Was grim. It, what's crazy is that like the whole like spoilers. Gwyneth <laughs> Pel- uh, Gwyneth Pel- her I can't talk. Her head in a box Pepper was box. like was like <laughs> yeah cake in comparison to the other shit. Yeah, yeah. That sorry, was... sorry, Brad Pitt and your, yeah. your wife or whatever his <laughs> name is. I don't know what the character is. But yeah, I, I don't think I'll be watching that again. Even though, yeah, like great movie. Mm-hmm. Of course. But no, thank you. Mm-hmm, no, thank mm-hmm. you. What movie or show ended up surprising you the most when you watched it? Good or bad? Well, there hasn't been any movies that we watched so far that surprised me in a bad way. <laughs> That I went, this is shit. Why are we watching this? <laughs> no, no, it's true, actually. Yeah. Uh, but what surprised me in terms of... In a good movie. way. In a good way. Mm-hmm. In a good way. Dodgeball. Mo- Dodgeball. That's a good yeah. answer. I mm-hmm. was expecting it to be like... Maybe Too a- cheesy or something, right? Like- well, I, I was expecting for us to have a difficult time getting through what might have been like jokes from a different like not PC time. anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, that kind of stuff. Or mm-hmm. like, you know, or or humor changes over time. That's what I was afraid of, that it wouldn't be funny for us. And okay. I guess the same for like Airplane, because that's even an older movie. That's true. And I yeah, thought yeah. so many things are going to go over my head in terms of references. Oh, yeah. And it probably did. but <laughs> Some of them definitely yeah. did for but me. But it still made but... us crack up like yeah, crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Okay, what else surprised me in a good way? My poor little brain. When what movies have we seen? <laughs> like and seriously, like because I, I have the feeling that like something recently surprised me. Oh, fucking fuck! Um, oh, fuck Rambo. Rambo. Rambo really surprised you. Yeah, I was like, just just like a like action movie, yeah. like Stallone, guns everywhere, shooting people, and like. <laughs> and it was that movie too. But there was so much heart in it the end. that it just like, mm-hmm. oh. So, mm-hmm. gotta be Rambo. Mm-hmm. Surprised me yeah. in the best fucking way. And Rocky, probably, right? I yeah. Rocky did that, too. Just just Stallone in general. Stallone, yeah. But Yeah. Yeah. And stay tuned for another Stallone movie coming up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Next Whoever time. asked me to be on camera is, a, is stupid. <laughs> I don't. I'm, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> each of you... That's us. Uh Each of us can choose a leading role in any movie we want from the past 50 years. Okay. Which role would I choose and why? Yeah. What role do you want to... Do I have to be good at it or just because I want to be it? (laughs) Right? Because, like, of course I want to be just, you know... Who? Fucking Frodo and just go through Lord of the Rings, but then I would just ruin that movie for everyone. (laughs) Oh, my God. Can you imagine? I would be... Past 50 years. It's limiting. <laughs> <laughs> limiting, she said. Um, oh. You want to be the male in You've Got Mail? <laughs> Bling. You've got mail. I would, okay. Yes. Okay, of course. Yes. Movie I better. would be Meg Ryan from You've Got Mail. <laughs> all right. All I right. think, I mean, I wouldn't, no, you know what? Because it's my favorite movie. And if I was in it, I wouldn't well, that's enjoy the same it. for every movie then potentially right mario what have you done all right let's move on let's move on all right uh what's the story of you two who decided to start a channel i think initially it was your it was your idea i think so yeah um i think okay what's so crazy and i i kind of love this so i was sitting in my day job and you messaged me being like, hey, you should watch this Lord of the Rings video. It's this woman yes. reacting to Lord of the Rings for the first time. And it was Natalie Gold. Yes. And it was like, oh, that's so awesome. And then. And then we just kind of went, well, we have then, a lot of time because we're working from home. No, no, no. This was like a year before. Was it a year before? It was so far before that you sent me oh, that Natalie Gold wow. video. Okay. And I was like, that's so much fun. And and yeah, like a, a year later. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, it was without the commute. I just got two more hours every day. Mm. And then I went, I don't know what to do. So let's let's just watch stuff. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's, Some people it's... made bread. We made Yeah, it's a true. YouTube channel. And like, you know what? I, I fucking love it. Because mm-hmm. um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so. But the, to answer your question, 
uh, initially this guy's idea, and I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, but everybody comes for you. That's not true. <laughs> I think so. No. I don't feel, feel of us both. Of all the movies you've reacted to, which one is your favorite? Okay, that's going to be hard. Okay. Okay, I'm going to exclude Lord of the Rings because that's not the first time watching. Correct. It, it's hard not to just choose the most recent movies. Because they're in our heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like most recently what hit me the hardest was actually turning red. But that's a mm. personal thing. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of a film film that I... Goodwill Hunting. I mean, that was also recent, but that was so good. That is probably like a perfect movie. That's um, what I said, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? No, Godfather 2 for me. Part 2. Godfather 2. Part 2, yeah. Wow. That's, I mean, I did say in that video that, that that was probably like my top three favorite mm. movies of all time. For me, it's got to be Goodwill Hunting. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 that, oh, I just, I can still like, Yeah. I think I talked about it in our video, but the whole like, the it's not your fault mm. repetition mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like Meisner technique shit that was going on there. I was just like, it fucking got me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. movies wicked smart. Are there any movies you wanted to react to, but were too afraid of either its content or was too inappropriate and would be taken down immediately? Technical. Oh my God. I was about to be so, so inappropriate. Oh, go on. <laughs> well, I was going to say that we should watch the, um, critically acclaimed Ron Jeremy film Sex Exhibition. <laughs> but... <laughs> Is that an actual movie with it? Oh. Oh, sorry. If you were about to... Go on. Uh, um, Miyazaki films. Yeah, actually most Japanese studio movies because uh, it, it appears that they have a thing for strike down notices yeah um, they would like like not they the would access immediately yeah not not like the copyright claim stuff which is just a warning but like the, the strike take well, warning that and then you removing lose the stuff, channels yeah. yeah but also apparently they wait until you do three and then they do all three right. at the same time and, and then once you get three gone. yeah exactly yeah. so Bummer. we're avoiding those mm -hmm. um musicals is probably problematic for us as well just because songs are so yep, easily copyright, copyright claimed yeah which is why Encanto was like mostly silent <laughs> <laughs> May we ask you to share a funny acting slash voiceover story? That's a you question. Um, unfortunately, I have no stories. I am unemployed. <laughs> Except funny, I'm, not sad. I am sorry. This is my life. You're just going to have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> there, there's some acting. <laughs> um, uh, what movie have you watched before the channel was created? And do you wish you could watch with Cinebench fans? Oh. Oh. Yeah, so many for me. I mean, Lord the the whole Lord of the Rings yes. thing was like we watch that every year <laughs> because we're nerds and and yeah, want yeah. to do that for the first time. Yeah, I mean for me like it's it's basically all the movies I grew up, which Ooh. are like Hong Kong and Chinese movies. Um, I would love to do those on the channel. The problem is nobody would watch those videos <laughs> because no one says. Like they're they're not like internationally famous Hong Kong or Chinese movies, you know, like the the ones that make it out to the West, like Jackie Chan movies, for mm. example. It's not Bruce Lee movies. It's like stuff that aren't even translated. So that would be a difficult thing to watch, and also no one would search for them because no one's seen them. Therefore, yeah. they don't know what the reaction is for. Yeah. And also, just like metric wise on YouTube, <clears throat> no one would search for those movies to begin with. Therefore, it's a movie that would have like the no negative one would find effects it. Yeah, on our it, channel. It would just have zero views. Yeah. Yeah. So, of the upcoming movies you have slated to watch, either soon or down the road, <laughs> what are your most anticipated? That's a, that's a nice way to try to get some sneak peeks in the future. <laughs> um, I mean, we a perfect example is like something was popular or something came up, and we we're like, okay, we're gonna watch that. So it's really like, mm -hmm. as far as like slated things go, unless we take holidays. Um, we can probably say some things, right? Can we say that? But no, oh no, I just mean like those change a lot. Right, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's pretty yeah. fluid. Well, it's like... okay, we're not going to promise a date, but like, for example, I'm pretty sure we're going to do the Batman, the new Batman. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so I, I want to watch that. I definitely want to watch the Batman. All three and a half hours or whatever of it. What? <laughs> yeah, it's really long. Chris got so mad when he found out. He's like, God damn it, I just want to watch a fucking movie where I don't have to take a piss in the middle. Right. Okay, what are our backgrounds? Um, um, a Chet Baker poster? Uh, In a meditation wall? pillow. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're so well, funny. Um, I don't know. What What do you mean? <laughs> I answer you. Um, what do you mean? Okay, exactly? fine. I'll, I'm. I'm guess. I have an idea what you're guessing. I'm guessing. Okay. okay so, um, 
Well, I grew up in a small town. <laughs> I grew up in a major ass city <laughs> called Guangzhou in China, southeast China. I've been there. Across from Hong Kong. Yeah, we, we've gone through it together. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I grew up in a restaurant. That's basically where I grew up. Mm. From the back all the way to working at the till. Because that's basically what every Asian child does. Uh, and then, um, yeah. And then I worked in game design. I worked in AI for a bit. And then I'm doing this. Nice. <laughs> that's basically it. That's my background. Cool. I grew up in a teeny tiny town in Canada. Like seriously. Like tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny. tiny, 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 tiny. Yeah. People joke of like, oh, like was your, did your class have like a hundred <laughs> people in it? Or like your graduating class? I'm like, no, 30. <laughs> um, and then I, I grew up, moved to the city uh, and, um, you know, started working. What is the best comment you've received and how do you deal with about nasty and negative comments? Well, with the nasty and negative comments, I actually print them out and tape them above my bed. So I read them Mm -hmm. every night and just to like, just to ground myself. And I I hear them in my mother's "Mm -hmm." voice, very disappointedly saying it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) (laughs) She calls me the Asian guy for something. Okay. Have Have we rewatched any of the movies we've reacted to? Um, Well, we, we, we rewatched Sin City afterwards because mm. uh, we did like the the uncut, untamed whatever version that was that like apparently the director's some people, cut that was a bit weird. I don't think it was a director's cut. I think it was oh, like, it was the some like Blu-ray DVD cut. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it was messed up. We watched that version because I just went to Reddit and looked for like what people recommend for some reason people said that and i just picked the first answer and then mm-hmm. i went with that one and it turns out people didn't like it yeah and it, it was weird because it kept rolling credits it was so weird at the end of every uh story so then yeah. we went back and watched it again like a week later to watch the, the theatrical, theatrical cut. cut yeah it was yeah. fine it was great um yeah i fucking loved it what's the latest movie you saw at a movie theater <laughs> okay so i'm pretty sure i saw west side story the last movie I saw in theater was actually uh, Endgame. Oh shit! It's been that long since I've been to a theater. Oh man! Yeah, it's been it's Endgame. Crazy. Yeah. Have you guys noticed a difference in quality of writing slash acting slash directing slash part of films pre two thousand five ish and prior? No. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Difference in quality. Difference um, in quality. There's like the. I don't know. The 90s, like 90s films that aren't action films, Mm -hmm. the title sequences, they're so clean, so uncomplicated. That's true. And so nice. I have some answers, but every time I think of one, there's always an example that isn't. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was, yeah, mm -hmm. like I was going to say, for example, um, well, something I mentioned yesterday when we finished Demolition Man, which Mm -hmm. is action movies before in the 90s and earlier the action sequences would go all the way up to the last 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the movie just ends. There's mm-hmm. no like, wrap you know, up 10 or... minutes of epilogue or whatever. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's probably a big difference. Yeah. I hear you both often make D&D references. How long have you played D&D and, how, and do you still play? If so, how often? That's a you question. Uh, I played D&D in high school with some buddies um, and then picked it up like a few, several years ago again, um, like 2015-ish. Okay. And uh, play as much as physically and mentally as possible. <laughs> um, playing the Sunday, hmm. I try to. We try to play weekly, but it's really difficult. Like the classic D and D thing is like, like trying to schedule everyone to. Yeah. You know, life stuff happens. It's yeah. it's tricky. Um, Not as much for me, pen and paper D and D. Just well. <laughs> Pen and paper. Haven't you heard of D and D Beyond? <laughs> With D and D Beyond, you can... <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, I mean, like my D and D knowledge is actually in the video game adaptations of them, just because. Right. Like, yeah. To be alone. Well, if you want to read a PHP, it's right over there. Um... <laughs> Question for Simone. Oh, that's me. Yes, it is. Well done. Uh, how do you come up with a channel name in the intro? What is your process? Give us a little peek behind the curtains. Well. Only if it's a tiny peek, someone says. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's literally random shit that pops into my brain. And then we just roll with it. And some of it lands. Some of it yeah. crashes and burns. <laughs> and then I have to live with it forever because it's now recorded on video for everyone to see until People the end of time. People love it, though. They're going to make like super cuts of it. It's going to be great. Anyway. Ooh, what is your horde character, George? Blood elf, orc. Also, what do you think of the patch 9.2? <laughs> uh, 
what makes you think I only have one character <laughs> and not like filled up the entire character <laughs> slot allocation? Because uh, I, I, somebody's not... got a problem. <laughs> Um, I think nothing of patch 9.2 because I hate it. So I'm not playing it. I'll just mm. see what 10.0 looks like. What's the one movie you want to watch but haven't seen recommended yet? Oh, well, actually, we just want to watch all the Marvel movies. Nobody really recommends those. We're just going to watch them because we like them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. easy popcorn movies. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, except the most recent one that made you cry. So they're not so easy. <laughs> Which one? We just watched it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's just all of the feels. All of the feels. Yeah. 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 Oh, I want to hear both mothers and fathers' recommendations for both. Okay. Okay. Um, My mother's favorite movie, and we can't do it for the channel. Okay. Because I watch it on her birthday every year, (laughs) is Michael Clayton. Okay. That's my mom's favorite movie. The George Clooney one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah. Tom Wilkinson. Hmm. Tilda Swinton. Uh, I still don't get it. <laughs> My father would probably recommend uh, Kids in the Hall. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you what my parents' favorite movies are. My mom's favorite movie is uh, Chunking Express. That's it. Uh, and starring uh, Tony Leung from shang Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and my dad's favorite movie is Red Cliff. The one about the war at the Red Cliff. <laughs> All righty. During the romance of the Viking period. Anyways. Hmm. Okay. Next one. Oh. George. Tell us a little bit about your editing process, please. Well, my process. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my editing process. Okay, so it always I always do the Patreon version first because that's just lining up the clips from you and the clips from me. Easy peasy. We clap, I line it up. Then, then we yeah, do you the guys countdown. don't know this, but every time we record a video, we go one, two, three. Yeah. And sometimes it's like so in sync. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I sync up all the footage, uh, do the Patreon version, the movie, and then um, and then I do the uh, the YouTube version, which takes forever. And that one, I basically go through the whole film, uh, basically playing in real time, and I look at all the sections where one of us talk, and I listen to it, see what we talk about, um, and then kind of go back and forth in intervals between let the movie play, let us talk, let the movie play, let us talk, mm-hmm. and it's back and forth. tricky, though, because like for stuff we've never seen... It's like those big movie moments that like people who have seen the movie like know. Mm-hmm. We when. don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know when to talk. So it's like it's yeah. so tricky, and so try. Yeah. To, I know that you try to like actually have like the full like movie. Yeah. So you don't. We don't. We try not to miss. The yeah, things, and the, the like, thing is, moments. like, we have to talk, and it's yeah. for two reasons, three reasons. Two, three. Seven reasons. <laughs> uh, the first one mainly is for fair use because fair use requires us to change the content by mm-hmm. at least like 50%. Mm-hmm. So it can't just be us sitting there watching a movie. Yeah. That doesn't work. That's literally just parroting. So we have to talk, <laughs> then it becomes commentary. Yeah. And that's how that works. Yeah. The second part is uh, a lot of movies during scenes where there's like score and music playing, that music is the number one copyright problem. Yeah. So we talk over that while the action scene, for example, is playing, right? And that allows us to show that scene without much interruption because we're talking over it therefore the ai detecting for copyright won't notice that it's a movie okay have you considered doing more collabs with people definitely 100 uh, like we had our friends on for a couple episodes and that was yeah. so so much fun although it is really really hard to like do i talk or are they going to talk oh god should i say anything because they're going to say yeah. something and then it's like editing is for the two of us we've had a lot of time to get used to to kind of know when the other person's talking <laughs> yeah um <laughs> You were trying to interrupt me there, didn't you? No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but with like when we do, whenever we have more people on, mm. yeah, we don't know when they're going to talk because we haven't done so many yeah. episodes together. Also, they wouldn't have had like we have like I don't know, like over a hundred videos now, mm-hmm. so we have like a, a good like routine of making videos together whereas like when we bring on guests even though we love them so so much and a lot of our friends are so awesome and so Mm -hmm. intelligent and also love film that it'd be great to have them on but they're not as comfortable with being yeah being on camera and knowing when to talk and when not to talk and all that stuff but but uh definitely more collabs um also having four clips from four different locations (laughs) rendering just takes so long um and as far as collabs with other people on youtube hit us up (laughs) 
because my people will talk to your people. Simone, what are your cat's names? And have you always been a cat person or is it a recent development? My cat's names? They're both sleeping right of a deer. They're so cute. I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. I obviously okay. Um the Luna is the fat one. Maggie is the not fat one. And they're very independent, so Yeah. They also repel mummies. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I love all animals, but I'm allowed to have cats as pets. Mm. And cats are like pretty simple. As long as they have food and water, they, they're like they're good. So, Except for when Oh, that applies to men as well. <laughs> I just mean like no, like dog, you need to like She has two pet men over there in the other room. Yeah. But they're tied up. They're always tied up. I don't let them go. Yeah, don't wake up the gimp. Okay. Um <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Which countries have you two been to and which ones that you haven't been to yet do you really want to visit? Okay. So uh, we went to China together. We went to China together. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. We're going to do that again, mm-hmm. um, b- preferably before my visa expires. <laughs> yeah, and pay another $200 something dollars. I mean, it. yeah. It's, but it's worth it, though. I'm, it, it. Oh, it's definitely worth it. The process of getting the yeah, visa it's a pain in the is so much outweighs yeah. the actual price of the visa. <laughs> yeah. Oy, um, uh, where do we want to go? I really want to go to Ireland. I think I want I've never been. I really want to go to New Zealand and I want to go mm. with you because I want to go to the Hobbiton. Oh, the for Shire sure. Together. Oh, I'd love to go to the Shire. The only thing about the Shire in New Zealand that I would, I'm like kind of against is that like I want to go and be in the real Shire. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go and see a fucking tourist attraction that's like, <laughs> this is the Shire. I'm like, no, I want a cloak and a sword and I want to be there and fight orcs and... <laughs> I need more wine. Uh. <laughs> okay, you want to go get more? Since watching movies and shows is likely to feel more like work now, yeah. what are some other hobbies you two have? It doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like work. Yeah. No, I like it, editing. It's fun. Uh, I hate editing, which is why I don't do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I like watching films yeah. and hanging out. The only so. part that I don't like is when I have to Photoshop my own face to a, a woman's body. That's my favorite part. <laughs> When George does it, I mean. Um, but my other hobbies, I mean, like gaming George, as somebody already said. Um, that's really all I do. I don't have time to do anything else. I mean, I like to cook. I just don't have time. That's the problem. Because, yeah. like, it gets really complicated for me when I cook. I like to spend all day and working on, like, one really intricate dish. Ooh. And then eat it by the sink. <laughs> you sad, sad man. Because I just want to eat it right away. Oh, my God. Uh, but that's really it. That's, I don't have time to do anything else. Mm. Yeah. Um, I play D and D uh, and Animal Crossing, <laughs> and uh, I read um, YA erotica. <laughs> Go on. It's called. <laughs> it's about vampires. Okay. What, what, no, it's what? called from from Blood and Ash or something. It's this new book series. I haven't got to the erotic parts yet, but I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Uh, do you have any hopes for the Ring of Power this fall? Mm. Um, I never have any hope for these kind of shows anymore. Especially... If Zendaya has taught us anything, it's prepare for disappointment. You'll never be disappointed. <laughs> it's not Zendaya. It's Mary Jane. It's Zendaya. <laughs> She's uh, so smart. But um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, Wheel of Time was a crashing disappointment for me. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. It's like, if I... If my expectations get too high, for mm-hmm. sure I will be disappointed and then very, very sad. Yeah. So I'm kind of like trying not to think about it at all. Yeah. Go in with like a blank slate and just see how it is. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. Okay. Do you think lobsters think fish can fly? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, let me extend this question further. What? Do you think fish think birds are in outer space? Absolutely. Right? Because it's a different medium. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, no. No? No, not that one, no. Because, like, occasionally fly fish go out. It's, like, them going into space and then coming back down. That's funny, though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great question. <laughs> Would you rather have Ooh. a lifetime supply of garlic bread or a life- lifetime supply of cake? Garlic bread. Garlic bread, yeah. Garlic bread. Yeah. Fuck, I want garlic bread. Yeah. <laughs> How many Critical Role shirts do you own, and what do you think of the campaign three so far? I don't know. Okay, so I've got the... OG Grog Strongjaw shirt. I've got Orphan Maker. 
I've got um the detective agency the the Pumat Soul basically I've spent too much money at the Critical Role shop um oh. but I like them a lot so whatever and they are soft and they fit and they're great blah blah um <laughs> what do you think of campaign 3 apparently campaign 3 is good campaign 3 is good I love um I could oh sh- fuck I could talk about this for hours. This is not okay. I was at first I was like really like what is Robbie doing here? And then as like a couple episodes went on, like oh Robbie, and then Robbie. If you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, who makes the great video thumbnails? George, who makes those? Huh? Who makes those? <laughs> Don't make me answer this. It's awkward. But I do. <laughs> uh, favorite ones. My favorite one. I like the three hundred one. Three hundred. It's you're not just out yet. Screaming. It's not out it yet. will by the time this goes out. Oh. <laughs> if not, then look forward to that. My favorite one is definitely Predator. Where it's just, <laughs> just you and Arnold's body because it's so seamless. Like you did such a good job with the Photoshop that it like it looks like the lighting is good and right. the thing. Yeah. Like when it works, it just works, you yeah. know? Traumatizing though. Also, <laughs> love you as uh as Cher Clueless. Again, because the photoshopping is so good that oh, it just man. like yeah. blends. Who is more Canadian between you? Of course you. You were born here. I was born here. Yeah, I'm more I've Canadian. Only lived here for like a decade? Yeah. No, for 13 years. So um fun question. If you had to cut off one of your fingers, which would it be and why? Fun. Um oh. Probably ring finger. It's the least functional. We have two. Mowage. <laughs> you only have one ring finger. The other one uh, is... Actually, in, in Russia, the right hand's ring finger is the marriage one. Um, Inspired by Colbert Questionnaire, what is the perfect sandwich? <sighs> Probably the Montreal smoked meat. Just like... The uh-uh. ratio of like 80% meat and uh-uh. 20% bread. Absolutely not. Here's the perfect sandwich. <laughs> Two beautiful women and me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your t-shirts. I'm wondering what is the Orphan Maker t-shirt Simone wears? Mm-hmm. The Tribal Lion George wears? Uh-huh. Does Simone like all the other bands she wears or is she a poser? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And where do I get my vaguely funny t-shirt? <laughs> Damn, dude. You just... <laughs> Throwing shades. Okay. Uh, Throwing shades. That's funny. Because, sorry. Uh, Okay. So the Orphan Maker t-shirt is from Critical Role. There's this uh, character, Yasha, who is, her nickname is the Orphan Maker. It's fucking badass. Also, it glows in the dark. (laughs) That was terrifying when I found that out. Um, The Tribal Lion t-shirt. What What is that? I don't know what that means. Are they talking about your wolf? Oh, that's a Witcher shirt. That's yeah. That's yes, just the, the school Witcher. of the wolf symbol. If that's the one you're referring to. Mm. Um, okay. And do know. I like all the bands that of the t-shirts I wear? Um, Are yes, you I a do. Poser. Uh, uh, yes, I am. No. Uh, the yeah, I listen. Yeah. All the bands that t-shirts that I wear, I actually listen to and yeah. really like. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. the bandies I have and the hoodies I get them at the concerts. And so I'm kind of I'm like the oh the concerts. Well, I'm sorry I can't go to some of the concerts <laughs> because they're dead, George. They're dead. Simone. Yeah. How did you luck out with a cat sitting on your lap during movies? Please train mine to do so. Oh, you don't want that. She's so fucking clingy. <laughs> she yells at me until I pick her up and swaddle her like a baby. It. It's annoying as fuck. Um, uh, it, it depends. How old are your cats? I can't talk to you. <laughs> I keep talking to the, like, asking. The, okay, depending on how, um, like, my cats are older, so they have, like, you know, it. Yeah. just keep on cuddling them and they'll eventually need it. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done? What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Oh, uh, I ate a balut egg. A what? It's the, the Filipino um egg that has a fertilized duck in it. Oh fuck! Yeah, I've had one of those. That was gross. Okay, been been curious about George's ink. Um, <laughs> he has tattoos, many. Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. Uh, full sleeve, almost done. I have some large back pieces, some chest pieces. That's from World of Warcraft. 
Yeah, Lotaro Gar. Um, I got this. You can't really see anymore, but it says to do is to be, to be is to do, do be, do be, do. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just from an episode of QI. That's it. I just Jeepers. I liked it, and then I just got. It. And then at which point I got a QI tattoo. Cool. Uh, I get a new tattoo every new country I go to. That's what I do. Okay. What's the worst thing about having a reaction channel? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Having to be on camera. <laughs> That's the point. I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, probably having to wait to watch new releases because we can't yes. do it in theaters. That's the worst part. Yes, I agree. Because we have Although, to wait for a digital release. Yeah. Although still, you know, still stoked. Yeah. To, to watch stuff yeah, yeah, whenever. Just, but like, just the worst but yeah, we do it. have to, our patience is a virtue. Yeah, yeah. Have you been recognized out in the streets by by YouTubers? You mean by viewers? Have you been recognized out in the street at maybe as YouTubers? As YouTubers, right. Yeah. Not in the street. I got recognized on Reddit. <laughs> so that was... I got recognized on a dating app. This is not a question, but it says, I love this channel. It's like watching a real world time lapse of you guys going insane. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. What do you mean going insane? <laughs> How does the talking and being filmed for the reaction and not being able to make yourself comfortable, I assume you're watching on a computer screen, affect your viewing experience? Isn't that diminishing the movie's impact? Mm. Okay, so um, I had an uncomfortable chair. I got rid of it. <laughs> I have a comfy chair now. Everything's dandy. <laughs> um, and it doesn't. No, I think the, the mm. one thing that maybe diminishes it is, um, oh, like we were watching... Uh, the terminator mm -hmm. and it's like big movie big action mm -hmm. and it's like it would have been really cool to see it in theaters yeah. but that's an older film anyway so we couldn't have watched yeah. it in theaters even yeah. if we wanted to that too yeah so um and i've we've both got pretty big screens and like loud headphones so yeah. like the, yeah, awesome. the impact I'm... of the movie is it's yeah. happening yeah. yeah you're also just watching a movie with me that should be pretty great do reaction channels look at other reaction channels to see what movies they watch and what is received well? I feel like Ooh. everyone's watching the same at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there is a bit of like market research, so to mm. speak, on our half. Um, there's two components to that. The first one is we look for films in the sense that there's safety in numbers. So if we know that a movie has been done by at least one other channel, then we know that that movie isn't going to trigger some sort of takedown because of the studio's behaviors. Safety in numbers. Uh, and the more channel does that, the more we know it's safe. The second component, obviously, we do look at if it's something people are interested in. Because otherwise, I, you know, I would just happily show you, like, Chinese movies that no oh, one sure. would know. But then no one will watch that video and then it just ever spend for nothing. Yeah. After watching so many films somewhat critically, do you find it difficult to watch movies casually? Absolutely not. My brain shuts off so darn easy. <laughs> I got a button right here. <laughs> I, also, I don't know what you mean by critically, though. Like, well, we're when we watch films, when we're like looking for stuff. I guess so. Yeah. I, do you think that we're watching it differently than we would, besides just verbalizing our thoughts? I think you watch things differently than you if you were in a theater. Yeah. You like <laughs> we definitely wouldn't verbalize my thoughts. Yeah, out exactly. Loud when I get my ass exactly. Kicked, but. Um. But I think you're you're more critical. Okay. When you watch films. Okay. George, in the Jaws reaction, you said you had a fake tooth. <laughs> How did you lose it? I'm guessing in, in a mosh pit. <laughs> Not as cool as a mosh pit. No, it's this one. It's the front one. Uh, I lost it actually when I was in Italy at a bar. I stood up and a waitress swung a mug right into my face. Oh, shit. Yeah, just by I accident. Know. Yeah. <laughs> like just literally a beer mug right into my face and I just snapped it in half. Oh. And then uh, pulled out the other half. Holy shit. That's it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how I got this one. Wow. Uh, nice job paying attention to like one. I don't even know when I <laughs> one said One offhand this. comment. Yeah. When was that even said? Hmm. What are you doing? Out what are we doing outside of the YouTube business? Well. <laughs> There's outside. What is outside, precious? <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh. I. I. Um, I'm giving a writing a, a bit of a go. See how that goes. Go, 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 yeah. go, go. Your, your erotica. My, my fanfic. <laughs> I write fanfic for Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's dirty. Real dirty. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The ring goes on a different body part. 
and it vibrates. <laughs> Notice George is in the Stormlight. Again, another Stormlight question. Any other fantasy novel slash series you would recommend? In or outside of the Cosmere. Okay, well, I'm not going to do a Cosmere because you, you know. You know. It's all under Brandon's umbrella. Okay. Uh, I recommend. I'm wrapping up Powder Mage right now. And that's really, really great. I think you will really love it. It's the one with like the spellcasters sniff um, gunpowder. Oh, right. And like yeah, and detonate them. That. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like rifle magic. I do plan on reading them. Yeah, it's really good. Um, also, the Gentleman Bastards are really good. Um, lighter magic, thievery, hijinks, heists. Oh, uh, Children of Time. That's just a one-off book. There is a sequel. I don't really like it, but Children of Time is a really, really good one. It's about um, <laughs> the evolution of arachnid species in oh. in another planet. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So those are my recommendations. Nice. <laughs> Children of Time. Okay. Congratulations on reaching 50K. Thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> um, okay, we want to know more about the cat too. The cat too. Uh, like my cats? Yeah, there's two cats, so that's... Two cats, okay. Yeah. This is Luna. Who is half awake. She, I just woke her up from her nap. And is now asleep again. <laughs> yeah, she's a little cutie. Luna, she's a fatso. She is actually asleep. <laughs> and this is Maggie. She mm -hmm. also just woke up. <laughs> yeah. And is very displeased. Yeah, she looks angry. <laughs> and there she goes. That's it. Those are the cats. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, more seriously, what's the deal with the copyright strikes? They seem so random and badly handled by the companies owning the movies. I mean, okay, so what's... The whole copyright issue, I totally... I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's their content that mm -hmm. we are using. And and I, I totally get it. But at the same time, like... Yeah. We also, like... Well, it's a commentary. That's what we're trying to do. That's why we verbalize our thoughts. Yeah. So it's not just yeah, yeah. us sitting there silently watching a movie, therefore yeah. redistributing a movie, right? Yes. And that's why it's all cut up, um, because it's more about our thoughts and reactions than exactly just watching the movie. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 AI based. If that's what you're asking, like, what's the deal <clears> with them? Is <throat> it just an AI that's just searching the web yeah. thoroughly? Uh, each company, each film studio has their own, I think, mm -hmm. and some are much more relaxed, and some are very very severe. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. It's too bad, really, because like the the amount of like, like we we pay for streaming services, and I mm -hmm. I still buy like DVDs, like an mm -hmm. <laughs> an old fogey. <laughs> I I still have VHS tapes. Yeah. Um. Tell us a bit about the trip you took to China together. Oh man, super cool. So we met a while ago, um, at school, and every oh, year. We went that far back. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> every year, George was like, "Hey." Let's go to China. And we're like, no. <laughs> and this happened for years and years and years and years and years. And then we're finally like, okay. <laughs> Basically, my pestering broke down her walls. It was fine, though. Like, it was great. And, and then we went there. Yeah. It did sound like I just annoy the shit out of people until they say yes. Um, okay, so. No, no, uh, no. It just, it didn't seem like very plausible. And then it was. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, our trip. Uh, it was. It wasn't just the two of us too. It was no. with like a couple of other friends. Um, yeah. And uh, we went to a couple of different places in China. We, we oh okay. So we landed yeah. in Beijing. We went to the fucking wall. Went to the Great Wall. We oh saw my the, god. The Forbidden Palace. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, we ate a lot. <laughs> we ate so many things. And then we went to Jiangxia, which is like a little village town yeah, underneath with, like the mountains like yeah the, the finger the, mountains, the mountains and they're so cool looking we went on like a crazy hike up there mm -hmm. and then we went to guangzhou where your family is from mm -hmm. and like which is like a seriously huge city it's absolutely crazy yeah and, and then we went to macau ate more things went to macau ate more things <laughs> well we eat every day to stay alive right <laughs> I'm so uh, <laughs> yeah and uh that, that 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 was our trip i think it was like three weeks right or two and a half something like that I think it was three, three weeks. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we plan to go back. Lol. I literally subbed yesterday because of the Band of Brothers reaction. Good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That show was amazing. Yeah. I'm glad um, you enjoy watching us cry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, how do you decide which films you're going to watch each week, or is it just pay- Patreon request? Mm. Um, it's a bit of a few different factors. So there is the weekly Patreon vote, and then the winner is what we watch mm-hmm. that week. Sometimes, um, well, yeah. sometimes it ties, and then we second watch- place. Or we flip a coin, and then the other movie becomes the one that we watch the next week. Yeah. Um, but then we also take second and third place, like runner-ups, and we add them to the main schedule, and it usually goes on for like a month in advance. Uh, and then we try to separate these films by what else we're watching that week. So, for example, if of the three movies we watch one week, one of them's a comedy, we're unlikely to do another comedy that week, mm. just to keep the genres varied. So... Yeah, try to do a comedy, an action, some sort of drama, blah, 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 blah. Blah, that's, blah, 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 blah. That's blah, blah. basically those factors. What is the nerdiest thing George has done? <laughs> Just existing. Yeah. What a loser. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> is there a movie you two absolutely dis- disagree on? For sure there is. For sure there's got to be. Um, What do we disagree on the most in the movie? Between us and all our friends, we have like an eternal debate on which one is the best Lord of the Rings. Oh, between the three. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's yeah, true. That trilogy yeah. is probably what we disagree on the most. Which is funny. Yeah. No, wait, do we? What, 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 what do you think is your best? The, the best Lord of Rings? I love Fellowship. Yeah, see, that, it's different. Yeah. You love Two Towers. No. You love fucking Return, Return of the King? Yeah, that's the my favorite. What the fuck is one. wrong with you? Because it's just a three hour long payoff. Okay. And it's so, so satisfying. Mm, it's so goofy. <laughs> Did you see what you've done? The, the channel's thing. over, guys. It's that's it. We can't work yeah, together. So anymore. Lord of Rings, Lord of Rings is probably what we disagree on the most, just because of which one is our favorite. <laughs> our biggest guilty pleasure movie. Mm. Oh, I know. I have mine. What's yours? <laughs> Van Helsing. Starring Hugh Jackman oh, and Kate that. Beckinsale. Yeah, that's oh, my favorite. Man. <laughs> guilty pleasure movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> guilty pleasure movie. Yeah. It gave me a second puberty, that movie. That's You'll see what I mean when you watch it. Okay. Got a thing for Hugh Jackman, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, I would. Um, <clears throat> guilty pleasure movie. Mm. Oh, no. I don't know. You've got mail? No, it, that's not a guilty pleasure. I feel no guilt whatsoever. Okay. My guilty pleasure movie is probably... <clears throat> oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. Um, New York Minute. Starring Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it stars those two, and it's already funny. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right, all right. Uh, have you ever been to the U.S.? Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah. It's like right there. What? <laughs> yeah, I've been to Washington, mm-hmm. Oregon, mm-hmm. Utah, mm-hmm. Arizona, mm-hmm. California. Yeah, I've been to a few. Yeah, Vegas, L.A., New York. Oh, you've been in New York. It's it's like an hour and a half from Montreal. That's cool. I've never been to New York. I yeah. would like to do that. Yeah. Has there ever been a movie you no doubt of and couldn't finish or refuse to see? Okay, so... Fucking cats. This is a story. with a two, It's two stories. Mm-hmm. Two brothers. <laughs> okay, so you said cats. Uh-huh. I was having like a movie night... And we got drunk and watched a movie. For It was supposed to be like fun, like getting drunk to watch a movie. Mm-hmm. We started watching the new Cats. And 25 minutes in, I just started vomiting. <laughs> Not because of the alcohol, but because of the combination of the, just the oh. movie and the... Okay, second story. I was in theaters watching the new Star Trek. Okay. With Chris Pine. Okay. It was very exciting as a Star Trek fan. Super exciting. Watching the film, we're like, what is this? What is what are what is going on right now? We waited until we saw Leonard Nimoy okay. as Spock and then walked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, also Max Payne. Actually, all the video game movies. Max Payne was horrendous. Hitman was horrendous. Assassin's Creed was horrendous. Oh yeah. Yeah. Brutal. All of those. I hated all Assassin's of those. Assassin's Creed. With Michael Fassbender. Oh shit! Yeah, that thing. What was about such Prince of shit. Persia? Yeah. Did George choose his own English name when he was learning English? <laughs> yes, I did. Actually, I gave myself the name George. Uh, I have an unpronounceable name. the The real reason is not as funny. It's actually because I nobody would answer my 
uh, job applications until I changed my name to like full on George Stanbridge. Like I picked like an old man's English name, mm-hmm. and then I started getting callbacks for mm-hmm. job applications. Okay, so how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck had a chainsaw? Uh, um, none because the chainsaw would do the work. <laughs> Uh, does George have a thing? Oh, Simone Simmons. Because <laughs> of all the epic shirts. Yes, he does. Absolutely. I've met her like four times and I was like spitting every time. Yeah. Have you, have you been to a concert? No, I've never seen her in concert, but I've seen videos. Okay. She's great. Yeah. <sighs> Do y'all ever hang out? Rarely. Yeah, I can't stand this bitch. Get out of here! No! No! How do you time your pee breaks? <laughs> we don't go on pee breaks. I have a bucket. <laughs> I have a diaper. Under my chair. <laughs> Cork? Uh, yeah, see, what you guys don't see is that underneath my chair is a bucket, and there's just, like, a funnel that I sit on. Yeah, look for the straining face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we we don't we don't we don't go on pee breaks actually. I've never peed ever. <laughs> That's worrying. Uh, no, we don't. Um, that makes like long movies kind of miserable sometimes. Yeah, we but, just we 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 go before we we prepare. Mm-hmm, mm, yeah, uh, this is what all those years in school not allowing you to go to the bathroom were for. That's outrageous. That's an outrageous thing. Okay. Anyway, um, can Simone speak Chinese? Well, actually, uh, okay. <laughs> so why aren't you a couple? Because I hate him. <laughs> no, really real. Jesus. Ow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and George stop with the lame sexual comments. He's tried. He cannot. His doctor said it'd probably be best if he just let it out. Yeah, he's yeah. got to let it out. Otherwise, it'll just I yeah eat him alive. Yeah. If I edge too long, I would just be all over the place. 